To make this robot uh, with shear ESP32 see-through board using the protocol uh, ESP now, you're going to be needing uh, two boards, two shear ESP32 see-through boards. Get for yourself uh, one L298N DC motor driver and 3.3 uh, volt lithium ion battery for powering the uh, the receiver board and uh, you, you also need to power the uh, the dc motors you need to power the, um, the l298 and dc motor driver with an external power supply i got two 3.7 uh, lithium batteries get for, for yourself four push buttons for the board uh, so on the receiver side i attached the the, the gpio tool uh, to input pin in one of the dc motor driver gpio 3 i connected to input pin uh, in four of the DC motor driver, I attached the GPIO4 to input pin in two of the DC motor driver, GPIO5 uh, uh, to input pin in three of the DC motor driver. That's on the receiver side, and uh, then you, you need to power the the receiver board uh, with uh, this uh, lithium uh, battery 3.3 volt you attach uh, the plus to to 5 volt pin and uh, the negative to ground of the board our receiver board so you also need to connect the ground of the receiver board to the ground of the um, uh, DC motor driver. On the transmitter side, I attached the GPIO 20 um, to the first push button close to the board. The GPIO 8 uh, with a third push button. The GPIO 9 uh, with a fourth push button at last the gpio 10 to the second push button a very important note you need to know uh, the transmitter uh, the transmitter board need to know the uh, the media access control uh, address of the receiver board so that uh, the esp now communication can be established. I'm using two DC geared uh, motor. The left DC geared motor, its positive uh, side is attached to output pin out one, and its negative side to output pin out two. The right DC geared motor, its negative side is attached to output pin out 4 and uh, its positive side to output pin out 3 let me show you how i created the sketches for both boards transmitter and uh, receiver you gotta install the uh, ESP32 boards to have the uh, ESP now library. Uh, so uh, these are uh, my push uh, buttons down one, GPIO 10, 
down 2, GPIO 9, push uh, down 3, GPIO 8, push down 4, GPIO 20. So I um, now I can remove those things. I don't need it. Uh, this info. So that's the uh, media access control address address of the uh, receiver, aka uh, MAC address. So inside of uh, this structure uh, with the um, uh, the four uh, states of the uh, four push buttons, state one, state two, uh, all the way down, okay. So on data sent, okay, uh, is the function that uh, is going to tell us if the, uh, the, the delivery, whether uh, the, the delivery was success or not if not so it will print out fail so the four push uh, buttons are input uh, pins uh, down one input down two input down three input down four input and uh, to print out um, the messages okay uh, you, we need the serial begin Eleven fifty two zero zero. Okay, to print out the deliver the uh, messages. Uh, so, so no. So once the um, SPNR is successfully initiated, we will register uh, for send CB uh, blah blah blah. Okay. Um, Uh, so um, uh, so we're gonna register the peer so now here uh, we are creating uh, the variable push state push button state uh, the push button state is a data packet variable okay and uh, the push button state will save uh, the states of the uh, push buttons and uh, we're gonna be sending the data the push button state to the receiver using the uh, the function spnow send okay okay that's the uh, trans receiver code as you can see here so the uh, that's the um the uh, input pins of the uh, l298 and dc motor driver in one is attached to gpio2 in two to gpio3 for all, all the way down okay and uh, we need the states state one and and the state two all the way down uh, up to state four so now we are inside of the function on data receive right? receive i don't know okay, so we need uh we create again a, a this variable called push uh, button state and uh, that's the uh, income data okay uh, so we're gonna print out the state of um, each push buttons okay coming from the transmitter code okay we, uh, we're gonna print out the state of each of each push button okay so now to have the uh, the robot um, uh, uh, moving, so we we use the uh, if statement, okay? If statement. Um, uh, in one up to in four, okay? 
are output pins on my uh, receiver board okay they are output pins so if state one is uh, one so in one gets uh, five uh, th three point three volts else gets zero volt state two gets uh, one so and two gets uh, one else zero state three gets one so uh, then in uh, three gets one else zero state four gets one so uh, in four gets one else gets zero okay so guys so um, now I think we can upload the sketch of the receiver code. We wait a little bit, we wait, we wait, we wait. Okay. I think it's done. Okay, and I uh, let me see. Okay, now we send upload the transmitter code. Okay, great. So it is printing out delivery fail. Uh, that's not good. Um, let me try uploading again. Okay. We wait, we wait, we wait. We wait, we wait, we wait. We wait for the 100%. Okay, now always deliver. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, now it's fine. Okay. Delivery. Okay, now let me do again the demo. 